This is the Insta360 Ace Pro camera and I find it very capable uh, despite some people complaining about picture quality. I think they haven't um, messed with the, uh, with the deep dive into settings and they should because if you uh, lower the sharpness and tinker with those um, settings deep in the menu, uh, very capable camera. But what's the topic of this video is how to get filters and uh, maybe a diopter on. And now I have a diopter on here, uh, that's a plus two. Um, but the thing is, they offer these filters from Insta360 directly and also from uh, second uh, aftermarket brands. But you can stick one on onto the lens Actually, this is one here, um, like so. So this thing usually has like a lens in it and uh, then you stick it on and that's it. You cannot combine ND and diopters and or polarizers and, and the likes. So what I opted, oh, this is loud, hang on. So what I opted to do is um, I bought a 37 to 49 millimeter step up ring and one of the cheapo um, filters that slide on, they have a little rubberized O-ring uh, along the along here. Maybe I put this out of the way so you can see. Rubberized O-ring here, so it doesn't scratch at all the casing of this lens. And uh, you can use a UV filter, of course, for protection for the lens if, you, if you're if you scared that you're breaking this at some point. So here I have a, a UV filter that slides on this, um, same O-ring. Uh, the lens is glued in from the front and uh, I bought this thing here with a diopter in that's very thick so I could just grab it and basically break it off clean out the ridge um, so I have a like a big hole in here and then put the the 37 millimeter thread here and glue it in I don't know how long it lasts I will maybe follow up on this if I want to but the thread of the 37 millimeter M uh, thread pretty much fits inside the little um, the little ridge and so far it's not moving and I can just stick it on here like so and then I have a 49 or I can even make a bigger step up um, and use my 77 millimeter filters of, of any kind and also stack them onto each other like use the different filters and other optical elements in any order and uh, basically in almost infinite amount. Um, you will, of course, at some point run into vignetting. This is barely not vignetting uh, the wide angle lens. But of course, if I stack more rings on top of here, there will be some uh, vignetting in the corners of the 16 by nine image. And um, I haven't checked it with photo actually, with 16 by nine, like film is totally fine like this. But then you could use a 37 to 55 millimeter or even bigger step up ring and uh, do the same thing. Just glue it on and have uh, more options. And I like how it protects the lens too. I could put a lens cap on here and have the sensor protected against direct sunlight, um, which is uh, probably good with any camera to not like just have it on something if you don't use it, have it on your bike or whatever, and just have the sun fry the sensor. I hope this is helpful. Uh, I think we should tinker more until the brands come out with a solution that is maybe even more sturdy. That I, I want someone to make like a click on thing. It's very it's, it's not easy to make because you have this the display here. So this whole this whole setup should be held uh, somehow onto the camera body a little more sturdy because if you put like three or four filters on here, it will get get heavy. And if you use it then in an action camera um, setting, I believe that is not uh, it's not going to stay there. I'm not I'm not certain. So something more sturdy with a 49 or even a 50 55 millimeter um, thread here inside would be perfect. So food for thought. I hope 